Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. I have a friend named Daniel who comes along sometimes to help out with projects that need an extra set of hands. Daniel is also a house husband and he usually brings along his little boy. The young fella is three years old but it's not realistic to expect a three year old to entertain himself for an hour at a time. So a couple of days ago I picked up this dump truck and today we're going to be making something to drive it around on. We'll start by cutting off this broken corner of the plywood. I'll use a handsaw and one of my saw stools. I'm showing the whole cut to prove that I really did do this work by hand. Now I'll mark the off cut to 400 millimetres shorter than the width of the bigger piece. This is the only piece of scrap plywood generated by this project. I'll do the assembly work on top of these trestles. We'll start by sanding the splinters off our sawn edges. I'm going to put a platform on top of the base, so this board will have to be shortened. I'll also mark and cut this narrow board for the opposite side. Then I'll saw them off in the usual way. So this is how the parts are going to fit together. Now I need to cut four short pieces to go in these four positions. I'll use this method to mark the length we need for the short pieces. It looks like I'll be able to cut the first one out of this off cut. Now we can mark out the locations for the end boards. I'll be using screws for this project, and this close to the board ends, the wood will probably split if we don't drill pilot holes for them. Once all our pilot holes are drilled, we can start putting the box together. I'll just put one screw into the small board for now, otherwise it'll probably end up at the wrong angle. Now we can assemble the other end. Once the box is screwed together, I'll mark a pencil line around the inside of the base. Now we can mark out the location for the top. Next, we can fit the inner boards. I'll drill and screw these the same as we did before. Then we can attach the box to the base and attach the top to the box. Now we need an upper mounting block for the ramps. I don't have any short wood screws on hand, so I'll just use these nails instead. I'll nail the bottom edge of the ramp in the same way. And finally, we need to fill that first hopper with sawdust so that we'll have something to transport. Now for quality assurance purposes, I'd better test the system before I hand it over to the client. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a live studio audience.